Hello everyone and welcome to my channel once again peace be upon you all in today's video I'm going to show you guys how to crochet this uh, uh, remote control uh, caddy or whatever you want to call it or remote control organizer or whatever you want to call it and um, uh, this is how it looks I use the contrasting contrasting color here only for the purpose of the video so that i can i can explain the pattern a little bit better if it if i'm using the uh, contrasting color it's very easy and simple to make even if you are new to crochet you can simply easily make that and uh, the yarn i used for this one i would suggest to use the cotton yarn but i did not have I did not have cotton yarn in this ply of the yarn I wanted to use so then I had to improvise and use the acrylic yarn but I would suggest to use the cotton yarn if you guys have that go for a, go for it it's best the length uh, it is into the 50 gram of the yarn there is 133 meters of the yarn and you are gonna need approximately 50 gram of this yarn approximately 50 gram of this yarn and maybe 10 gram of this yarn um, I'm just eyeballing I don't know how much I used here but here it was 50 gram of the yarn plus I had some leftover um, yarn from another ball of the same yarn so I used that so maybe you will need um, 50 gram of the yarn and I used 4 millimeter crochet hook you can use any yarn you can use any crochet hook so uh, I'm pretty excited it's uh, first time I'm going to make something like that so let's get started so the multiple of the stitches uh, on the base are going to be any numbers of stitches that can are any number of the chains that can be divided by uh, uh, four plus you are going to make two more extra chains for the remote i am making caddy for is this one so for this width, for the uh, width of this remote, I think I am going to make chain 14. You can make as many chains as you want to. Just the number has to be equally to any number that can be divided by 6 plus 2 chains. The one I am going to make, I am going to chain 14. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, and 14. What I'm going to do is I'm going to make a single crochet into second chain from the hook. This is single crochet from the uh, second chain from the hook and one single crochet into each and every chain. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. I will complete rest of the round off camera so that I can save some time. Just simply make one single crochet in each and every chain. At the end you should end up with 13 single crochet. You should end up with 13 single crochet. Now make chain 3. 1, 2, 3. This starting chain 3 counts as your first double crochet. And make a double crochet into the next. Chain 1. Skip 1 single crochet and 1 double crochet into next 3 stitches. 1, 2, And three chain one skip next stitch and one a double crochet into next three stitches one two and three chain one skip next 
stitch and one double crochet into next two stitches one and two if you made same numbers of chains as i did you should end up uh, including this starting chain three you should end up with two double crochet chain one three double crochet chain one three double crochet chain one and two double crochets you should end up with three spaces of chain one two double crochets on both sides and three double crochets um, sets of three double crochet and then you are going you have skipped three stitches now what i will do now is i will make chain one turn around and make one single crochet into the first stitch one single crochet into the next stitch and then we are going to make one long single crochet into this skipped stitch insert the crochet hook into that skipped stitch grab the yarn and pull up a loop and uh, make sure to not make this uh, stitch very tight make it loosely and pull through both loops one single crochet into next three stitches one two and three again one long single crochet into this skipped skip stitch like that one single crochet into next three stitches one two and three again one long uh, single crochet into next skipped stitch one single crochet into next two stitches including our um, starting chain three from the last round make chain three one two three turn around make one double crochet into next stitch chain one skip long single crochet one double crochet into next three stitches one two and three chain one skip next long uh, single crochet and one double crochet into next three stitches one two and three chain one skip next long single crochet and one double crochet into next two stitches like that these are the two rounds these this is the pattern these two rounds we are going to repeat in next round we will make chain one and we will make one single crochet on the top of all double crochets and one long single crochet into these skipped stitches at the end of every round you should end up with three long uh, single crochets and uh, 10 regular single crochets and then what we are going to do is that we are going to repeat these two uh, rounds until you get the length the desired length of the caddy you want to what i did was what i did was that i have made the um caddy uh this is like three times the length of my remote control it's once twice and thrice and little bit more it doesn't matter you can make it as long as you want to and then i re did same with the i repeated the same pattern with the pockets and i made approximately the length of the um, remote minus maybe two centimeter you can make it as long as you want to so make this caddy plus the back side of the caddy plus two pockets and then i will resume the video i will make rest of the process off camera i have made all of the pieces already so what i'm going to do now is that we are going to join them 
uh, we are going to join both pockets on the uh, back side of this caddy so the both um, right side of the caddy and the pockets should be facing towards you and this is the right side of the pocket and this is the right side of the caddy what i am going to do now is that i will you can join it anywhere you want to but for the sake of video i am going to join here on the a corner of both pieces this is the first available chain or single crochet i am going to uh, insert crochet hook through that and first single crochet on the back side as well and then i will slip stitch into that make chain one and then i will make a single crochet into that now what i will do is i will keep in this round we are going to on this side we are going to skip all of the, our uh, single crochets this is our next available double crochet on the upper side i'm going to place i'm going to insert crochet hook on the side of that double crochet and this is also a double crochet in the form of chain three i'm going to insert crochet hook through that and then i will grab my yarn and pull up a loop and make a single crochet regular single crochet then make chain two one and two and make single one more single crochet into the same gap or uh, space or whatever you can call it where we have already made a single crochet we are going to make one more single crochet into that now we will skip our next single crochet on both sides and this is the chain three of the back side and this is the next double crochet of the uh, upper side i'm going to make a single crochet through both of them chain two one and two and one more single crochet into same place again skip next single crochet and or skip everything which is after that and make a single crochet through next available double crochet and chain three or double crochet whatever it is on the other side and make a single crochet one two chain two and one more single crochet into that repeat this pattern all the way until you reach here this is the end of the pocket but you keep repeating the pattern on the back side of the caddy by making one single crochet chain to one single crochet into just the double crochet into just the double crochets or uh, here uh, what you call it double crochet or chain three whatever it is you are going to make one single crochet chain to one single crochet into all double crochets or chain threes here uh, is the single crochet we are going to skip that make repeat this pattern all the way and then what you will do is you will do the same thing you will place the and then when you reach after repeating the pattern here do the same thing by attaching the second pocket on the caddy and then i will resume the video when i reach here i will do rest of the process off camera there is just one thing that i uh, thought maybe i should mention here when you reach here at the end of the pocket you are going to make these stitches into the single crochet as well uh, in uh, because the last row is single crochet on the pocket so we are going to repeat this pattern on the uh, just here on the single crochets on the front side upper side and the back side as well otherwise it will not give it a finishing look like that and then i will repeat the pattern in all the double crochets as i did here 
now i am about the uh, about to attach the other pocket as well and what i'm going to do is i'm going to repeat this pattern into the first uh, single crochet row as well in on both side on the upper side and on the back side as well on two chains and then one more single crochet more into that because if we don't uh, repeat here on the single crochet it will not give it finishing look and it will look like this as if we skipped something here so that's why we are going to repeat the pattern in the single crochet uh, as well into the last uh, row of single crochet on our pocket and then we will do the same on the back side as well and then we will repeat the same pattern i am at the end and this is the uh, uh, first single crochet row of the pocket and last single crochet row of the back side i am going to repeat the pattern in in those single crochets as well by making single crochet chain two and one more single crochet into that what we will do now is that we will skip next we will skip next single crochet on both sides on the uh, upper side and on the back side as well this is next single crochet i'm going to skip that and i'm going to make i'm going to repeat the pattern into next single crochet this is next single crochet on the back side i'm going to skip that and i will repeat the pattern into the next chain two and single crochet again skip next single crochet on both side sides and repeat the pattern again this is the pattern we are going to repeat by skipping one single crochet on both side and uh, single crochet chain to single crochet into next repeat that all the way to the end into this uh, corner as well and then we will do what we did here on this side repeat that on the other side as well all the way to the end here and then repeat all the way here and here we have already made one single crochet we will make one more single crochet we will make one more single crochet into same space chain two and slip stitch on the top of our first single crochet that we made I am at the end where I started this uh, joining this is where I made uh, my first single crochet I'm going to make one more single crochet into that chain two and slip stitch on the top of our first single crochet and then I will cut the yarn and weave in the end so it's done I have weaved in the ends and this is how it looks our remote uh, fits perfectly into that and there is still some um, space some little bit uh, gap left if you wanna make it more fit uh, to your remote you can as i said earlier you can make as many chains as you want to here which can be divided by four and there is then another pocket and uh, you can just lay it over the arm of the couch or anywhere you want to uh, it's done there is just one thing that i wanted to mention that i uh, used um, a written pattern can you call it uh, and uh, it's not my own idea yes i had this idea of making something like that but not exactly these same stitches and all that so i will share the link to that written pattern in the description box if you guys are interested in follow the written pattern you guys can go and follow that i tried my level best once again and this time i took a big risk by using this lilac color because i don't know what's wrong maybe it's something wrong with my, the setting of my camera or i don't know but it the light color of yarn does not um, it's not a good idea to use light color yarn with the camera i'm using or I don't know if I'm doing something wrong but it gets too sharp and it reflects a lot in the video so that's why I took the risk of using the lily color hopefully hopefully it was easy to follow and um, 
um, there was no confusion still if there is anything that is uh, confusing or anything like that please comment below and i will try my level best to help you guys thank you so much for watching peace be upon you all and happy crocheting